Hi, James here. Um, <clears throat> I hope you all had a good Christmas. Uh, and sorry I haven't done a video for ages, but uh, I've been a little bit busy. And I um, haven't been very well for a couple of days. I've got a nasty flu thing and I've still got it, so I feel pretty dodgy. Um, anyway, before Christmas, uh, I got a couple of emails from people saying that they've got a little trouble with their um, switch on their Technics 1210 Mark II or 1200. Um, basically, what well, I'm going to explain now, as I've explained uh, a million times before in all my videos, uh, the only difference between the Technics 1200 and the 1210 of the Mark II is the colour. Um, the 1210 is black and 1200 is silver. So from now on, I'm not going to bother saying Technics 1210 Mark II or 12. I'm just going to say SL Mark II. Okay, so if I say SL Mark II, it means either a 1200 or a 1210. Um, so it just makes it a little bit easier for you to understand what I'm talking about. So yeah, basically, so a couple of people have got problems with their SL Mark IIs and the power switch. So I'm going to do a quick video now uh, just to show you basically how to service it, how to get it apart, and you know, what to do when you got it apart, so um, bear with me, I'll go and get the turntable, I'm going to do it on the floor in the, uh, in the what I like to call the office, and because uh, I've got a bit more space on the floor, and uh, I'll show you what to do, so bear with me. Right, well, now I've got the turntable on the floor, um, before I start I'm just going to quickly mention, you do need a couple of basic tools for this, um, you need just a pair of pliers, like a normal pair, uh, a pair of long nose pliers would be quite handy, uh, you don't need those but they'll be quite handy uh, a flat headed screwdriver and your average Phillips screwdriver that's about it really you don't need any other tools just a couple of pairs of pliers and a couple of screwdrivers that's it right anyway um, on the actual turntable and I think most of them is quite a common um, switch to use uh, this is the power switch for one of these and you just twist it and it comes on it's on top of the LED strobe uh, anyway, to get to this, uh, you have to take the bottom off. Uh, however, once you do take the bottom off, it's right there in front of you and it's easy to work on. Okay, You don't have to take any, anything else off to get to it. You just literally just have to take the bottom off. Uh, now, before you take the bottom off, you need to um, cushion it. Put something on top to cushion it so you flip it over. Otherwise, you can bend the tone arm. So, first of all, take the platter off. It's my piece of paper to help it slip. So take the platter off, uh, take your cartridge off, your needle, make sure the arm's locked in as well. So take that off, uh, take the counterweight off, and of course, unplug it. Oh yeah, and before I forget, don't forget the 45 adapter. Right now, when you go to flip it over, just take an old cushion like that, bung it on top, and what that will do is that will just cushion it to take the strain off of that tone arm so you don't bend it and then just carefully flip it over onto its top and there you go you see so the cushion is now cushioning that so it's not going to bend anything right now you're going to have to remove all of the 50,000 screws in the bottom here no there's not that many uh, anyway there's two different types of screw well there's three different types there's a longer one here underneath each leg but they're too long to get mixed up with all the others they're the longest ones there so you won't get those mixed up but these ones you can see like there's this inner circle bit here. All the ones inside this inner circle bit are one type of screw. So I'm going to put some markers on now. Okay, so all the ones marked as green are the shorter um, screws and all the ones now marked red are the longer screws and um, don't get them mixed up. So one's green, short, one's red, long. Okay. So, so just pause the video and take note of that if you have to. Well now you can probably see I've taken one of the um, feet off the bottom so just screw all the rest of the feet off they just they twist off right now all the screws are out now now this bottom piece is a piece of toughened rubber and it should just peel off uh, now my one will come off pretty easy because I've had this off a couple of times previously to do other videos so it should just come off but if you haven't had yours off for ages or even ever then you're probably going to struggle to get it off it's going to be quite tough so the best thing to do see this little slot here where the power cable goes in you put two fingers like that in that slot and then use your thumb to push on that silver bit here in the middle like that and push it off it should come straight off it's actually that that makes it a bastard to come off because it's tight around that so if you get your thumb and just push on that it'll come straight off 
uh, that actually came off pretty easy. But um, once you take that off, okay, underneath there's not really much to look at. You've got the pitch controller circuit board, the target light. Anyway, the bit you're interested in is down here, this like triangular circuit board. So let me um, move the camera in a little bit and we'll have a look. Right now, I've just got a light here because it's quite hard to see this. Um, basically, what you're looking at here is the underside of where the power switch actually is. Here, you've got the bottom of the start and stop button. Um, here, you've got the 45 and 33 button. And this white bit here is the bottom of the power switch. If you see, if I twist the power switch, that's what happens. Now, to get this off, this is all one mounted unit, so you can actually just take this whole bit off to get to your power switch. So basically you need to take out four screws. This one here, this one here, this one, and that one there. Basically all of the black screws. Don't take that silver one out there, because that doesn't actually hold anything on. That just holds the circuit board onto that plastic bit. So just all the black ones, just take them all out, and then you'll be able to withdraw this bit. So let me just do that, bear with me. Right, now once you've taken all the screws out, you can actually pull this bit out by pushing on the power button and it just comes out like that. Now you can see that the start and stop button, the two um, speed selectors and the power button switch rather, is all on one plastic mounting. Now that's good because that means if there's something wrong with it, you can just take the whole piece out and work on it. Now on the back of it, this is the power switch. If you turn that, you can see that white thing turning, and that clicks that switch there. Now that there is called a throw switch, or a single post push to make switch, but we won't complicate things, it's a throw switch. What you do is, you push that in, that makes the circuit, you let go, it disconnects the circuit. So basically, when that spins, it pushes it in. That's about as complicated as the power switch gets, really. There's not really much else to it. But there are a couple of things, okay? If that is loose and wobbles, that could be your problem. And if that is the case, then that white bit will be worn away and you need to change it. Um, also, here and here, if I put it to the middle, you can see in between there's two little plastic knobbly bits, one there and one there. Now, if one of those is bent or broken off, then basically the switch isn't going to stop where it should, it's going to keep turning and turning. So that could also be your problem. It could be one of those has snapped off. Now if it has, if you can find the piece, it might be rattling around in the bottom of your turntable, just get a bit of super glue and glue it back on. It's not a permanent solution, but it will sort the problem out until you can think of something else to do, i.e. replace this plastic bit, or just glue it on and just be a bit more careful how you turn it on.